Over the past few BigQuery Spotlight episodes, we've walked you through the fundamentals of BigQuery to help you get started architecting and administering your warehouse. Today, we're going beyond that initial setup and talking about how you can ensure that your BigQuery environment stays cost-effective, performant, and secure through ongoing monitoring. Monitoring your data warehouse on a continuous basis is important for every organization. Let's walk through a few key use cases so that you can understand the different data sources available to monitor and the types of questions you might be asking for each one. First up, cost optimization. One of the ways you can monitor BigQuery spend and Google Cloud spend in general is to leverage the billing reports. You can analyze billing data directly in the Google Cloud Console or export it back into BigQuery to join it against other data sets and create your own custom reports. Let's jump into the Cloud Console to take a look. In the Reports tab of the billing page, we can see a chart with our costs for a particular billing account broken down by project, service, SKU, or even label keys. Focusing on BigQuery services, there are a few different actions you might want to take using this data. First off, you can see how much money is being spent on BigQuery across different teams or projects, and use this to set up budgets and notifications so that you or others on your team know if spend is getting out of hand. Or you can even set up custom quotas for BigQuery so that specific users or projects are limited in the amount of data they can process. Next, you might want to dig into the storage SKUs to look at a breakdown of active versus long-term storage. In case you don't already know, BigQuery charges half the price for data that has not been modified in 90 days. This includes entire tables or specific partitions within a table. So this information may be able to help you modify the way you update data or narrow down tables that could be partitioned to take advantage of long-term storage. Another SKU you may see in the billing data is for streaming inserts. While BigQuery charges for streaming inserts, batch loading is free. So if data being streamed into BigQuery doesn't need to be consumed right away, you might consider editing your loading process. Finally, the billing reports can be super helpful for pinpointing projects that have spikes in analysis cost. Here, analysis means on-demand querying, where you're charged for the amount of bytes scanned. There might be an opportunity to apply a slot reservation to these projects to save costs and ensure predictable pricing. If you're not familiar with BigQuery reservations or BigQuery pricing model, I highly recommend that you go and visit our jobs and reservations video linked below. Now, if you do decide to go with flat rate pricing, you'll need to figure out what reservation size makes the most sense for your needs. This brings us to our second use case, workload management and performance monitoring. You can see how many slots were consumed across different workloads in your organization using the cloud monitoring interface or the information schema tables natively available in BigQuery. For example, if your historical slot consumption looks like this, you may want to find the baseline and purchase a monthly or annual slot commitment for that amount. In this case, around 500 slots. For queries that are causing those peaks, you could choose to purchase a flex slot commitment, run the query, and then cancel the commitment. And as a reminder, the number of available slots is kind of like a measure of throughput. This means that if less slots are available, the query will likely just run slower. You can always test out query performance with different number of slots to find the size that works best for your needs. Besides just determining the size of your reservation, you may also want to use cloud monitoring or the information schema to monitor job performance. And actually, if you're using slot reservations already, you can also use the new BigQuery admin resource charts. Let's take a look. This data can help you pinpoint queries that should be optimized, like this scheduled query that seems to be consuming a lot of resources. With the job ID, 
You can even get the execution details and use some of the optimization techniques we covered in our previous video to figure out if you can rewrite the SQL to be more efficient. You might also want to dig into job concurrency to rearrange scheduling for optimal slot utilization or fail jobs to help troubleshoot any ongoing issues. Okay, great. So we've reviewed some ways to save money and optimize performance. Now let's talk about how you can audit data sharing and access using cloud logging, which allows you to analyze system and application log data. And just like our other data sources, logs can be analyzed in the console or exported into BigQuery. In one of our previous videos, we talked about data governance. You might remember that we use data catalog to develop policy tags for controlling access. In cloud logging, we can do things like find the email address for the principal that grants or removes access on a policy tag, or the email address for whom the access was granted or removed. You can also directly see what user identities have queried which data sources to ensure that all access policies are correct and no one has access to data that they shouldn't. As you can see, monitoring is essential to making informed decisions on optimizing your BigQuery data warehouse. As a quick review, you can use the billing data to create budgets, custom quotas, and dig into areas where you can reduce costs. To size reservations, improve performance, and troubleshoot errors, you can use cloud monitoring or the information schema. Or if you're a reservation customer, the new BigQuery admin resource charts. Finally, you can use cloud logging to review granular log data, which also might be useful for troubleshooting and to monitor data access policies. The great part of monitoring in BigQuery is that you have the flexibility to export any of these data sources back into your data warehouse for custom reporting. In fact, we've even built a series of Data Studio and Looker templates to accelerate any additional analysis you want to do on top of billing, information schema, or log data. Make sure to check out the links below for details and follow me on social to get more BigQuery tips and tricks. Oh, and remember, stay curious.